Roughly 25, 26 foot rear kitchen trail cruiser by Trail Light, which is an RV vision company here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And uh, don't let the little bit of, um, you know, road grime deter you here. This thing is a very nice piece. It's very well kept. It's a very lightweight unit uh, that has, you know, the, anytime we get trail lights and trail cruisers in, it's like people are just out there hunting for them. Once somebody has had one of these, it's always treated them well. It's sort of like when you find a person that cuts your hair right, you'll go to that person till the day you die if you can, you know. That's kind of what one of these are. The people who have had these generally have always had really positive experiences. Um, they are fully laminated, and they were uh, one of the first trailers to really do that on a large scale. Roof, floor, sidewalls, every single uh, open skin of this RV is laminated. You see the little uh, sofa slide right here, which is going to give us some extra living room space once we get inside. What that means is that the entire thing is more rigid, stronger, and lighter than a conventionally built trailer, which has a tendency to wiggle when you bounce it down the road. You know, your whole frame kind of jiggles around a little bit. You see, they have the rear ladder on there because you can get right up and walk across this thing to maintain it. And take a look at the size of the awning here. It is, uh, pardon me. Oh, I thought I was going to sneeze. Ah, anyway, <laughs> I hate it when you do that. You go to sneeze and you don't. Um, about a 24-foot awning on a 26-foot camper. I mean, that awning starts from the back and goes all the way forward. You can't get much bigger than this thing. It's large enough it has a center support. That's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and just step inside here for you. I left the shades closed and turned the lights on just to kind of give you, like, I, I, I usually turn the lights on to, to give you, like, a daytime feel, but sort of at night, this shows you, this thing's just real kind of quaint and cozy. I'm going to spin you around here real quick, pardon me. We're going to start in the back and work our way forward. Isn't this thing cute? So, like I said, perfect couples camper. Man, you know, if it's just the two of you, what I like is that someone can be back here cooking or working, and you can have social things going over here at the sofa or the dinette that, uh, you know, you don't bother anybody. You don't get in each other's way. I like that. You don't have to worry, you know, about doing the little, what I call, travel trailer shuffle sliding around the cook. Now, a uh, 26-foot lightweight camper with uh, central air is actually pretty uncommon. It's really sweet that they have central air in this thing. Um, the rear kitchen back here has uh, something very few kitchens in any camper have, rear kitchens or otherwise, and that's windows. You actually get good windows and good viewing and good light in this floor plan, and that's very cool. Like I said, highly unusual. I mentioned fully laminated. You know, you can't do that to every camper. You'd, you'd bust ceiling panels right out of the thing. I like the uh, extra power outlets right here where they're easy to get to for griddles and coffee makers. You see they actually snuck down a little extension cord for extra ones back here in the corner. That's perfect for like coffee makers and stuff over there in the corner. Again, those big windows, I can't say enough about that. In a little camper, big windows make all the difference. It really opens it up. You see how they have these big overhead cabinets right there. And every ounce of storage in a little couple's camper is great. The sofa will jackknife down into a sleeper if the grandkids come. Uh, it, you know, it's not a big bed. It's good for one kid, though. You throw them down there with a pillow and a blanket, and they're camping with grandpa. Kids don't care where they sleep. I camped with my grandparents a lot. They never had a bunkhouse. I didn't care. You could have slept me on the floor. I didn't care. Grandkids don't care. Overhead storage here is pretty nice now. Um, rather than a TV... These folks opted just to have an extra uh, door put in right here just for extra storage. You could easily throw a little te television up there, though. The hookups are still present. Uh, one cool thing here, this has a remote control carrier AC system. What that means to you in English, this is not just the control. This is the thermostat. Pardon the ink on my hand. I was stamping brochures today, and the stuff is indelible dye, and I made a mess of myself. Anyway, so wherever you take this remote control... That's how the AC will, it'll try to keep temp with where you're setting. So if you set this down right here and you're watching TV on that sofa, it'll try to keep you cool at this location. You know, the problem with a lot of thermostats is they're mounted up here on the wall and it'll keep the, it'll cool down to keep the wall cool, but maybe that's a different temperature than back here by a hot summer window. That's what's really nice about this remote control system. Um, Moving forward here, you have kind of a little bit of a split bath, but one of the benefits to that is we have this extra large hanging wardrobe cabinet right here. And again, in a couple's camper, all the storage you can get is awesome. Now, I purposely left one of these hanging up here to remind myself. It's a dryer sheet. 
And folks who haven't been camping for very long might ask myself, why would someone hang a dryer sheet from their ceiling vent? And the answer is simple, critters. Um, that basically has the exact same effect as mothballs. The difference is, this thing is going to leave your camper smelling spring fresh and not like great grandma's closet. Uh, so seeing things like dryer sheets stuffed in a cabinet somewhere is a very good thing. And if you didn't know that, you'd be like, these people just, they left junk cluttered everywhere. That's not the point. The point is they kept the mice out of the RV and they do a very good job of it. And again, it leaves your camper smelling nice. Notice the power outlets here right up next to the top of the headboard, exactly where they should be. Because that means you're going to be able to keep your CPAP machines right up next to your head because a lot of those don't have real big power cords. Um, you know, your uh, alarm clocks and your phones, you can keep your phone chargers right there so your phone's ready to go. And check this out, right here in the bedroom, we have a big window. We have a front window, which is very hard to find and exceedingly rare. Another big window and another window from the door letting light in. You have a lot of uh, windows here, not to mention the side windows open for ventilation and the roof vent opens for ventilation. And this is obviously aftermarket, but they didn't scar up the wall doing it, so you actually have a place to hang a coat in here too, and that's pretty cool. The uh, Just to give you another good look at that hanging wardrobe closet I mentioned from a better angle, uh, there you have it. The uh, Let's take a peek over to the bathroom real quick. Nothing too fancy, but it's utilitarian. It gets the job done. I mean, you don't need it to do any more than shower and toilet. And it's, it does the job. There you go. So give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping. Go have some fun.